2017 has been the best year yet, and I cannot wait to see what 2018 brings us. And I hope that all of your wishes come true this year. Now, for our very first video of 2018, let's talk about this freezing cold weather. It's winter, it's cold, it's time to get out the salt. Wait, what? Salt? How does salt melt the ice? Well, let's find out with this fun, interesting, and yes, beautiful experiment. So first, we make our ice. Now you can just go get a chunk of ice from outside, but if you want it to be a nice, good shape, then you can also use bowls. And you can use different size bowls and different shape bowls, but you're gonna wanna make one per person so that everyone can make their own. And if you want, make one extra so that you can melt it completely. I am also placing one in there with a little bit of salt already in the water, our salt water. And let's put these in the freezer. They have to sit at least a few hours, but it's just water, so it can sit in there for as long as you need it. And when you're ready, you'll take the ice out of the freezer. You can run it under warm water so that it warms up just enough to break out of the bowl. Now, place your ice on some sort of melting tray so that the water doesn't go everywhere. And you can place it on a grate. That way, the melted water doesn't start melting your ice even more. You really only want the top part of the ice to melt, not the bottom. And after just a few minutes, you can see little rivers floating down your ice block. And then you can add little drops of food coloring and see those rivers even better. Plus, it makes it pretty. Now this part may take a little bit of patience, but the more patient you are, the more beautiful it can turn out. So just keep sprinkling more salt, you can add more dye, but not too much dye that it ends up just being a brown black color. So you wanna be careful about the colors that you use and where you use them. But it looks so cool. And then you can flip it over and it looks even cooler. Now, since it's cold outside, you can set these out on your porch for a little decoration, but make sure that you really shake out that excess salt. You don't want it to continue melting until it's gone, because then you can't show off your beautiful creation. And make sure you take video and or pictures. Now you can tell that it's the salt that's actually melting the ice faster, because if it was just the air, well then the ice would melt all around the same rate, but these little rivers are only where the salt is. So the salt is melting that part faster. Oh, and remember the salt water that we put in the freezer as well? Well, that one has not completely frozen. It's actually more of like a slush. You can see the difference between the regular water and the salt water. The salt water is not freezing like the regular water. But why? Why is the salt water not freezing? And how is the salt helping the ice melt faster? So typically water is very easy to freeze and very easy to boil. But when you add in new ingredients like salt or alcohol or even dirt, you make it more difficult. Pure water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius, as long as there's a seed crystal. Remember, we talked about this in our super cold water experiment. So that is actually a very popular experiment I'll have the link down in the description below so you can watch that next. Adding a new substance like salt, it lowers that freezing temperature. So instead of 32 and 0, it's now 10 and negative 12 degrees. Meaning that the temperature needs to be that low in order for the water to freeze. So once the temperature gets low enough to 32 degrees temperature, water freezes. But salt water won't freeze. For salt water, it has to get all the way down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Now, if you were to use table salt, that is the 10 degrees. Table salt, anything lower than 10 degrees Fahrenheit, the salt water will freeze. Now, freezers typically are colder than 10 degrees Fahrenheit, so the salt water didn't freeze yet. But if I kept it in there longer, it will eventually freeze. It's just going to take a while to get there. And this is for table salt. Now our table salt, the salt that we put on our food and eat, this is sodium chloride. Now calcium chloride is a very common driveway salt and it's better than magnesium chloride because the freezing temperature is even lower. The temperature outside needs to be below negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit or below negative 30 degrees Celsius. So it has to be extremely cold in order for that water to freeze. So up here in the north, it can get below negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, it is way too cold to leave your house. But in these extreme conditions, that salt may not melt that ice at all. 
So you must be very careful in extreme weather conditions. Be careful out there, folks. So if you are to just leave the ice on the counter, of course it's going to melt. Ice will melt at room temperature because that's way above the freezing temperature. So the water will be in liquid form. In extreme cold conditions, it will be ice form. And in extreme hot conditions, it's water vapor. So at room temperature, water is liquid. So you put ice in room temperature and it melts into the liquid that it wants to be. But when you add salt to the mixture, it melts even faster because it is farther away from its freezing point. So regular ice at room temperature is not that far away from its freezing temperature. So it will melt kind of slowly. But salt water is even farther away from its freezing temperature, so it has to get there quickly. Just like if you were to put ice at room temperature, well, it melts. But if you put ice in the heat, it melts a lot faster. The farther away the temperature is from the freezing point, the faster it will melt. So if you lower the freezing point, it's farther away and melts faster. So I hope you enjoyed this first video of the year. Again, if you guys ever have any requests, make sure you, to send them to me. I still have quite a few planned, especially with these ABCs of science. So we are going to start that next week throughout the year of 2018. We will discuss a popular topic that starts with each letter of the alphabet. We'll start from atoms and end with zombies. So really looking forward to that, looking forward to the entire year of 2018 and what it will bring us. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.